So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and transfer your particular account from your Microsoft Authenticator account from one phone to another phone. Now, doing this is fairly basic. The first thing to keep in mind is if you just go ahead and reinstall your particular account, you know, if you reinstall your particular account from one device to the other, what you can do is you can always just go through, if you make your way over to your authentication, authenticator page, whatever, if you have a Microsoft account already associated with it, you can just log in with your Microsoft account to your other phone and everything can transfer over. But if you don't have anything, let's say you don't have an account associated with it, if you're doing a full iCloud backup or a full Android backup from your iPhone to your Android, if you're transferring all your data, your account information within Microsoft Authenticator could also transfer as well. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing which you can do is you can always kind of begin your recovery when you're going to add your account. So if you go ahead and actually log in for the first time, you'll see an option that says add account. But at the bottom, it says already have a backup. You can restore an account and you can click begin recovery. So you can tap on begin recovery. And if there is an iCloud backup or any iCloud I think associated with your particular account or an Android Google backup, you'll see it come up and then you can just, you know, kind of recover your information that way. Another option you have is you can go ahead and basically go on your new phone. You can make your way over to a particular website, which is in this website right here which would be, it's also, I'll leave a link down in the description too. Again, aka.ms backslash MFA setup. And on this particular website, you want to log into your particular Microsoft account within this particular page. And you want, you want to set your new phone as the default, the default authenticator. So go and make your way here, set your new phone as your default authenticator. And then you want to go and delete your old information on your old phone. You can basically delete the application once you have it set up on your new phone. So. That's another way you can go and set it up too. If none of those things are working, you can always just go through and manually add all your information that way too. But those are basically the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.